we're going to talk about five states that suck for gun owners. Let's get to it. What's going on everybody? My name is Steve with the Mr. Big Kid channel. Thank you all so much for watching and as always, thank you all for tuning in. Today we're gonna to talk about five states that really just suck for gun owners. I'm not gonna rank them by crime, I'm not gonna rank them by poverty, but really I'm, I'm going strictly off of their gun policies in these five states. Some states just flat out are purely anti-gun. Some states are just very restrictive on their stance on guns. So we're gonna talk about them. So if you're a gun owner and you're looking to move, I would probably avoid these states. Or if you're a gun owner and you appreciate and love our second amendment, but you're stuck in one of these states, I'm sorry. But we got plenty of room over here in Arizona, especially if you're the gun toting type. Come on over to Arizona and hang out. The water's really nice here. Well, we don't really have water, so just heat. The sun's really nice. Okay, let's get to it. In no particular order, I saved, in my opinion, the worst state for the last. Let's get started. First state on the list, you probably all know this. It's probably not a shock to you guys, but I'm gonna go with California. Okay, so here's all the, uh, the restrictions that California has on firearms. You need a permit to carry rifles and handguns. The permit policy in California is May issue, so they don't have to give you a permit. Uh, you need a permit to purchase rifles and handguns. All firearms must be registered. Mandatory registration, um, background checks on private gun sales are required, and you have a 10 round capacity limit for magazines. The good news is uh, in California, as far as open carry, uh, in some of the rural counties in California, you can actually open carry. I'm gonna go with the next one. You guys probably also know this, and it's probably not a big shock to you. New York. Uh, yes, these are all pretty bad. So, New York. The permit is required to carry a handgun. So, in order to carry a handgun, you need a permit. The permit policy is a May issue policy, so they don't have to give you one. And the likelihood of denial in major cities like New York City is pretty likely that they're gonna deny your permit. Uh, permits are issued by county or state Supreme Court uh, judges. So, interesting fact. Mandatory registration of handguns. No open carry is allowed. If you're lucky enough to get a permit, you must always conceal if you're carrying. Private sale of rifles and handguns requires a mandatory background check and it has to be done through a dealer. And then, of course, you have your 10 round capacity limit restrictions for magazines. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, we'll go with this one. Maryland, yes, Maryland. You need a permit to carry a concealed handgun. Permit policy, again, is May issue. They don't have to give you a permit with a high likelihood of a denial. You need a permit to purchase a handgun as well. You need a handgun qualification license to purchase a handgun. Handguns and automatic weapons require registration with the police, so Yes, there, there is registration on firearms. Do you need a permit for open carry? Uh, it requires a carry permit for a handgun, but usually only police or security guards can open carry. And you must go through a dealer for private sale, and you must have a background check. You have your 10 round magazine capacity restrictions, and there is currently an assault weapons ban in Maryland, and they cite specific makes and models and features of the firearms and stuff that they're banning. Okay, New Jersey. New Jersey sucks for guns, and I have a couple friends that live there, so I'm sorry guys, but permit is required to carry handguns and rifles. Permit policy is may issue with a high likelihood of denial. A purchase permit is required to purchase handguns and rifles. A purchase permit is required to purchase handgun ammunition, and a purchaser ID card is required to purchase rifle ammo and shotgun shells. Voluntary registrations for handguns and rifles, Background checks are mandatory for handguns, and the buyer needs to have a purchase permit. 10 round capacity uh, limit for semi-auto handguns and rifles, and then you have a six round capacity limit for semi-automatic shotguns. 
This is the last and certainly least most restrictive gun laws. And I'm going to say, um, well, let's just get to it. Hawaii. Hawaii, you suck for guns. I'm sorry. It's a beautiful state. I've been there. I'll probably go back. But if you're a gun owner and you're stuck in Hawaii, I'm sorry. You need a permit to carry handguns, but not rifles in Hawaii. The permit policy in Hawaii is May issue with an almost guaranteed denial. So they're not going to give you a, a firearm permit in Hawaii. And I actually read a whole bunch of forums. I read someone that said they were in the police department and they are, their department, which is who issues the permits, have never issued a permit to anybody before. So yes, you need a permit to purchase rifles and handguns but they're not gonna give you a permit, so you can't purchase rifles or handguns. All firearms must be registered. Open carry is allowed for rifles and handguns though, but since Hawaii won't issue a permit, you can't have one anyways. Uh, background check is mandatory for private gun sales, and a permit is required for the purchaser of that gun, but they're not gonna give you a permit, so who cares? Then you have a 10 round capacity magazine limit restriction. So that's it. Those states are horrible. All those uh, beautiful states and their very restrictive gun rights. If you live in one of those states and you are a gun owner, gun enthusiast, I'm sorry. I'm really curious. Is the information that I got accurate? I don't know, but I'd love to hear back from you guys. Um, I am from a pretty restrictive state originally. I live in Arizona now and we have really awesome lax gun laws here and it's it's a wonderful place for gun owners minus the really hot weather and closed down deserts in the summertime you know, due to dryness and all that. Um, Arizona is a great place, but I did come from Connecticut and Connecticut is horrible for gun rights, especially right now, um, pretty much after the whole Newtown thing happened. They really cracked down a lot on restricting uh, the rights of citizens. I do want to say one thing before we part. Uh, criminals will always follow the gun laws. So if you take them out of the hands of citizens, more than likely the criminal is gonna not use guns too because they wanna play fair. Because criminals are really concerned um, about making sure that the, the playing field is even you know, for the people, for the victims, their intended victims. So if you guys end up turning in your rifles and your handguns, and if you guys vote for people that are pushing policies that are restricting our rights, then that's a good move because that means the criminals are gonna um, turn their guns in too. Thank you all for watching. If you guys like this stuff, please give me a subscribe, hit the bell notification, and don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your experience. What state do you live in and how's your, how's your state's policies in general on gun ownership? Anyways, all right, see you guys. Have a good one.